I thought it was very encouraging that uh, that uh, the, the people participating in the uh, in the government rule or a global government for the internet scenario and the internet island scenario all agreed that these were not desirable outcomes. Um, and uh, what's interesting, though, of course, is that people recognize that this seems to be where we're headed. So why is it that if nobody wants to go there, we seem to be going there anyway? This is very frustrating. Uh, with, with the scenario of of uh, global internet governance. Um, one thing that I found quite interesting as I was listening to the presentation just now was that the, the rhetoric around, you know, we, we, need to, uh, we need to assert control, we need to deal with uh, all these problems on the internet, um, this, this kind of tendency that the, the group agreed was counterproductive. Um, I hear that kind of language from two different groups most strongly. One is Chinese officials uh, and Iranian officials and, and officials from other uh, authoritarian governments. Um, the other group is elected representatives to Western democracies, people in Congress, people in various parliaments in, in the United, uh, in, in Europe. And so I think this is one of the problems, this is one of the bugs of democracy, shall we say, um, that, uh, that public pressures to do something about all these bad people doing bad things on the internet is leading politicians to advocate for solutions that at least people in this room feel are undesirable. <laughs> uh, and what are we gonna do about that? Uh, and, and the fact that actually elected politicians in democracies and officials in many authoritarian countries, even though they would not uh, admit this, seem to kind of agree about some things uh, in, in a convoluted and strange manner, uh, or, or at least arriving at the same conclusions for, with very different intentions and reason, reasons, but it could kind of lead us in, in a uh, very undesirable direction. So, uh, and, and then also kind of leading to the, the Internet Islands uh, scenario, again, how do we prevent this from happening? And one of, of course, the unifying threads are the Internet companies that are global, uh, that, that make the, the network function. Uh, and it seems to me that one of the essential things that needs to happen is that the private sector really needs to step up uh, and take its responsibility for the public interest um, because I think the private sector has a role to play uh, and a responsibility perhaps in making sure that scenario one and scenario two do not happen. Um, that it's gonna be very hard for even democratically elected governments or NGOs and civil society to, to stop on their own. And so we, we really need the private sector to, to step up to the plate. Uh, we're depending on you to help prevent these scenarios from happening. And uh, there, there was a discussion about the need to develop best practice, uh, the, the, and this, these types of things are going on. I'm involved with the Global Network Initiative, where we're actually trying to come up with a set of best practices and principles and help, help companies work with NGOs and civil society exactly on what, what Pablo said uh, about helping bear witness, helping companies come up with best practices, anticipate problems uh, so that uh, unintended and the consequences do not result. So I very much will just end again with an appeal, private sector, we need you.